Well, hello to all you EasyIO FG Beast users and people who are planning to in the future and people who just love watching my videos. Well, all I can say is I'm honoured and today I want to show you some new features. It's 4th of June 2014. Maxline have done some really good stuff to improve their TCOM driver and let me show you what they've done. So let's create an offline station. You don't even need a real controller to do this. Let's take 6A, the latest... Um, the latest uh, profile that's for the offline tool, go to TCOM and just start that up. And you see it says it cannot bind. There's a reason for that. It's because I'm already running a station. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to close that and run my little thing that resets the daemon here. And there it is. And that just stopped it. So if I now restart this, you find that everything should be fine, which it is and you'll see the TCOM driver start in a moment and there it is so that's all gone to plan now let's just open this with CPT I can also do it with Niagara it doesn't have to be with CPT and let's just update the uh, TCOM driver first of all and upgrade uh, the, the sys to dot three so we'll let TCOM do that sorry not TCOM I mean CPT and we'll start Niagara uh, Niagara Workbench and just so you know I'm not cheating I'm going to do the next part using Workbench so all I would do is just go into my host start it here and that takes us inside our virtual controller FG32 controller so let's now go and add some more kits that I'm going to need this time we're using Workbench and all I'm going to add in now is the Easy I.O. Schedule and Histories. Just looking for those here. I don't see them just yet. There's the history. And that's telling me I need PSTOR, which I know. PSTOR stands for Persistent Storage. That allows us to save up to 4,000 controllers in persistent, uh, sorry, 4,000 records, which I'm about to show you. And the other one would be easier as schedule. I want to show you how we've integrated schedules. Which means you're, you can now fully integrate between your supervisor or your Jace and, having, and then have a fully standalone controller that not only does histories but supports schedules as well. Fully integrated into your Niagara schedules and your Niagara histories. And I think you're going to be quite surprised just how good this really is. So let's just do this. And as you see, I've just used Workbench to do this. So the two are totally compatible. And that's started up. And what we'll do is just close the station in here and restart it. Just use CPT this time. As you can see, we're up and running. Let's just smooth those out a little bit. Let's go back to here, start it again. As you can see, we have a nice open page. So what I'm going to do there is I'm just going to, under EasyIO, add in a schedule. An EasyIO schedule, which is here. And as you can see, we don't have anything in there. So that's all perfectly normal. Under service, I'm going to add PSTOR, but I'm going to cheat. I'm going to add it from when I already have backed up, just to save time for the video. Just go into PSTOR and add it in. And all I need to do is just do a clear, just to clear the memory again. And they're both up and running now, as you can see. And if we were to view that in Workbench, you will see the, um, the PSTOR histories are all set up. One's called File, one's called File 1. And they're looking great. And we're writing uh, histories into those. So... Um, Let's just have another look at that. Yep. If I just view this as a wire sheet, just view this as a wire sheet, you see exactly the same as what you're seeing in CPT. Okay, now for the interesting part. Let's now open our station. So let's go to here. Let's open a station called TT. And do a start. And what that's going to do is I think I've already loaded TCOM, I can't remember, but we'll soon find out. Let's just open that station. 
and let's go into the drivers let's go into drivers here yes I do have a TCOM so if I go and discover you see I've just discovered the device that's actually been allocated a number via my router here which is uh, 192.168.10.xx so when that's finished what I can do is bring that in as a device and what you will see now, you see the health is okay, now you're going to see points, schedules and histories. So if I start with schedules and do a discover, it's going to bring in that schedule that we just created that currently has nothing in it, but I'm going to set it to update automatically to two seconds. And there you go, it's keeping it nice and simple. Supervised schedule doesn't match, which is correct, it doesn't because I've not allocated it yet. That's why it says supervised null. So if we were to now go into here and say, um, let's go to our master schedule number one now and link that, now we're not getting the error. Okay, and if we were to look at what that schedule is, you will see we currently have sometimes in there, and if we go to CPT, Go to the schedule. Go to the schedule. You will see we have times in there now. If I go to here and clear the schedule, save. Go back to CPT. You will see the schedule is cleared. Go back and put some in, like so. You will see the schedule comes back, which is really great. The next one is to go to our TCOM network and this time discover histories. And you can see we created those two there. Again, just bring those in. Bring those in. And just to save time, I'll just execute them to create them. Again, we could do the same thing and just put in a really fast update in there. Do make that interval. Set that to zero, zero, I don't know, 10 seconds for this. I'll just do one of them for now, the one that's called file. If you go down to here now, you will see that we have histories. We have one called TT, the device. Sorry, I beg your pardon, it should be this one. If I go to file there and did a live update, you would see we get new file, new histories now coming straight into Niagara. And you can do the same with points. You can run BACnet at the same time, you can run Modbus at the same time, and you can run SOX at the same time. So you've just got yourself a really awesome, great deal, end to device at an amazing price. Thanks for listening. Bye.